What's going on, everybody? Happy Saturday. This is Harding Eisenbowman from PartnerWithGreatness.com. I wanted to share some thoughts with you about this upcoming opportunity slash challenge of the virtual schooling, the online schooling, distance learning, whatever you call it, remote learning. This is huge. Uh, for those of you who are looking to support and facilitate uh, kids being able to do distance learning in a way that allows parents to go back to work, and, and run some kind of program out of your home or another facility, man, my hat's off to you because it takes a lot of courage to step out there and do that. It's kind of an unknown, untested model. We've seen things maybe similar to that with you know the homeschool movement, but nothing quite like this. And to be honest with you, I'm super excited about it. Um, I can't go full time doing something like that right now. I've got a newborn at home, but what I can do is share my 10 years of experience as an alternative school educator in, uh, in a great alternative program here in Central Kentucky. And I wanna give you a few free tips to just kinda of help you on your way and start to get your mind rolling in the direction that my mind is rolling as far as how to structure and set up your program on the front end uh, for success long term. So the, the one thing that I'll say in today's video is that unstructured time is not a friend. Um, the, the, the time, here, here's another way to say it. If you plan, if you schedule and plan for more than you might have time for, that's a good thing. It won't be wasted effort to, to schedule and plan uh, more than you might have time for in the day or the week because worst case scenario, uh, the kids have their schedules full of core content learning and they don't get around to the other stuff you had planned cool but that unstructured time if they do have downtime that can make or break your program it, it will be the the worst in terms of you know behaviors that you don't want to see uh idle hands you know the saying um and and also it will be a, a severe waste of an opportunity because what can you be using that that time for that is not part of the core content but still has everything to do with character and leadership and vision? Are you, are you, are you planning on talking to your kids in your program about those things? Um, and I, I won't get too far off on a rabbit trail there, but unstructured time is the enemy. Plan for more than you think you'll need and make it meaningful um, in terms of things that, it, that they won't normally find in a core content uh, setup or, you know, that, that stands in the place. See, here's the thing that they're missing out on most of all uh, in this distance learning setup is the presence of, um, of mentors, right? So you're not just an educator. You have the, the possibility to stand in the gap and be a mentor figure to the kids that you're working with. So uh, please don't go into this thinking that you can kind of have like a, uh, a, a cake cheese, uh, you know, almost babysitting role where you, you just supervise while they get their work done and they raise their hand and ask questions if they have any about their normal scheduled programming. That stuff is tired and old. And if there's going to be a meaningful change in the way that we educate kids and prepare them to become the people that we want to take over the world, we cannot sleep on this opportunity and, and be paid babysitters that just sort of facilitate a wind it up and let it go education model. Um, get in the game, get your heart and soul in the game, and think about what you have to offer uh, from, a, from a personal experience point of view, from a life lesson point of view, uh, character, leadership, vision, all those things. I won't get any, into any more of those in this video, but I hope that got your wheels spinning. I'm Harding Eisen Bowman, partnerwithgreatness.com. Go ahead and head over to my website if you haven't found it there, uh, this post there on my blog, and I'll check y'all later.